Ladies and gentlemen, this is George Michael. I am right now talking through a very, very gifted man, and his name is Charles Moulton. And I think some of you might be actually laughing because you think, well, this is coming through the YouTube channel of Charles Moulton. But um, Charles is a psychic. He is a medium. Um, and he is capable of these things. He's capable of these things, but he doesn't know that he's capable of these things. Um, right now, and that was the sort of the, re the reason why I, I um, um, inspired him to look at these 80s songs, these 80s videos from from the time when I was um, uh, becoming a star. Um, but people are uh, capable of psychic abilities. Also, people that are not, um, uh, you know, people that are not um, uh, aware of it. Some people are aware of it, but uh, we are as souls actually on a journey here um, we do have a mission um, I died prematurely because I was always looking for something <clears throat> I was quite uh, I was very successful I'd reached everything that I wanted to reach in my life um, but I was wildly unhappy because I did not have anyone to share that fame with. I had loads of people that loved my work, um, but frequently I spent so many years alone and I did seek love and attention and sex and all of that. I did seek it. Um, and I sought it out, I think, in places where I shouldn't have sought it out. But um, what I'm saying is, uh, Charles is right now looking at father figure. It was a uh, rather um, important video for me because uh, we had a really important concept with, with, that, that, uh, um, with that video. It was... Um, done with with friends of mine and models that I'd been working with also during the wham time and they were hand picked and uh, we had this concept of you know somebody having the faith to be a hope and um a support for people um and that was an important thing for me at the at the time because I was not being honest with the world that I was gay. Um, now this is George Michael talking, not not as a Georgios to, uh, yogi talking. It's not Charles. Charles is very much straight. Um, but it is important to realize that I was making a point here. You know, I did have all these models and and everything there, but um, the the whole point that I was making was that you have to be honest about yourself, who you are. And that's why I called the song Father Figure, because a father figure, I wasn't really being honest about myself, that I was gay, you know, again, George Michael, George Michael from the other side. Um, and um, what I'm saying is, the now is always beautiful. Now Charles is sitting here watching his videos and it's an important message because he looks back on these videos and realizes how incredibly talented these musicians were. We have Tears for Fears that he was looking at uh, before uh, with a beautiful song, Shout. And when back when, when he was a teenager watching these videos, um, he didn't realize um, how incredibly beautiful and how incredibly talented these people were, and we were. I mean, we, 
you know, Andrew and me, we, we had loads of things going for us and we were living in the moment. We, we just, you know, went with the energy as Andrew was actually the one that, that sort of took me under his entire, um, if, you know, uh, took me under his wing because I was very shy when I was, when I was a young boy. Um, but I turned into this thing and I was just telling Charles that, that, um, people jumped on the bandwagon very early with, with me, uh, when I started to feel the energy of what was going to happen to me, you know, or even before the first top of the pops thing that went around, um, where I was singing top of the pops I was singing and I thought people that actually just found out or was actually were actually uh, already um, I was treating myself as I, as if I was a famous person right the, the first very first uh, um, moment that I sang at the top of the pops um, and of course obviously people didn't really know me then but i thought they did but anyway people were jump i you know felt people you know um jumping on the bandwagon because they were feeling the energy they were feeling what was going happening with wham um and loads of people started to do that and um but i was just living my life you know i was you know dreaming of becoming famous. I was working very hard uh, to become famous, but that's not what was actually the main thing. The main thing was the way I was feeling. And that's what I was trying to tell Charles right now, because I, I'm i right now in his quantum energy. You know, the people listening to this, I, I will see that there'll be a lot of people listening to this, because it's, you're 99.9% empty space and the rest of, of you all living are just 0.0001% vibrating matter. There's no material. The physical material does not exist. Um, and you're in a time right now that is that is changing and where people will, in a mind-blowing way, um, understand that you are all vibrations. You are not material and you can decide what happens to you by actually tuning into this frequency of God. And God is a conscious intelligence that flows through all of us. He's not separate from anyone. And this is a really important thing. Um, and it's an important thing for people to realize because the now is always beautiful. When you look back on something, and this is the whole reason why Charles is channeling, challen, challening, channeling my energy right now. So I'm actually in his body. I'm actually in Charles' body right now. And father figure is actually a very important song. Also, be for him, he's a he's a father, and he wants to be a father figure. Um, and the now is always beautiful. And he realizes that the '80s weren't just. It was a confusing time for him but it was also a wonderful time for him it was a great time he was in vienna i mean at the beginning of the 80s he was in sweden but and second half it was just not a confusing teenage time it was an interesting time when he was meeting a lot of famous people and um the 80s were basically a very important time and he didn't realize how important and how inspiring and how exciting the 80s were for him um, and what I am saying is that it's, um, we have to realize how gorgeous the now is because the now is the, is everything we have. And Charles has been saying this for ages in articles, the now existed a million years ago, it, it will exist in a million years. The now is all we have. And as Albert Einstein, who is here in this dimension as well, um, the now has existed through eternity and the future, the past and the present, they all exist in the same time. 
in the now. And you can actually go back to yourself. You can actually, and you'll find out this when you do, you know, decide to part from the world and go into the other dimension, that you'll find out that you can actually go back to yourself and talk to yourself as a younger person by actually imagining yourself doing it. Um, the now is always, always important. So don't just start. And this is the main part, point why I went back into myself, into Charles, to convince him to watch these videos, convince him to watch these videos, to actually find the truth. Don't start by being nostalgic, by going back into the past and saying, oh my God, I found out how wonderful the past was. You know, you know, you look back in the eighties and you say, oh my God, I have, you know, how wonderful the time was that. Why didn't I realize how wonderful the time was? You can start by being nostalgic about the present. Realize how wonderful the present is, even with all this, what you're going through, all you people with the, with COVID and, and, and Corona and all these very strange and confusing things. Try, and this is a message from the other side. Try to become nostalgic about the present. Realize that you were in an incredibly interesting time and it, for a lot of people, it doesn't seem that way, but you definitely are in the age of Aquarius. And if you realize that you are in the age of Aquarius, you are actually in a time where the electromagnetic energy of the earth is changing. And the earth is supporting the heart right now, not the mind. This is, these are important things. Um, so try to become nostalgic about the present. Nostalgia doesn't necessarily mean, oh my God, I wish I were there. But if you realize you are in the midst of your power, then things are going to change immensely. Things are going to change for Charles immensely. This is an amazing time. Follow your heart. There is there is no such thing as matter. And quantum scientists and physicists have proven that. You are energy. Everything is energy. Material matter does not exist. And if you realize that, you are far more better off than you ever could ever imagine. This is a really important thing. Try to realize that you are in your middle. And if you follow the heart and not take all of the stuff that goes on in society, if you realize that, then um, you will be blossoming. Follow your heart. Do what you really, what really makes you feel good. The man you call George Michael, the soul that I am now, that I connected with, um, I died prematurely because I made the wrong decisions. Um, but I do thank you all for all the marvelous things that you've, you've, um, given me that you have, you did make my life really fantastic. All the people that had all these wonderful, 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 wonderful you know, things to say to me and follow my career all through those decades, you know, the little Greek boy from, from England above the fish and chips shop, you know, that turned into this incredible rock hero. And I was, I'm, I'm really thankful for that, but do trust these people like Charles that are trying to, you know, usher in a new time into your consciousness. Believe your heart. Don't always believe what society is telling you. Um, well, this has been a message from George Michael. I will be, um, I will be around for anybody who 
listens and I will also be there for Charles and if Charles wants to he can channel me again um, he can ask me anytime he wants because I know that he is a psychic he is a medium although he has never actually practiced as such but uh, he's been led to his reincarnations and he knows that everything is connected and things have happened to him that have led them there and uh, there was a very important person in his life that told him that everything his life is is meant to be and it is it is the way it is um be very aware that things are not what they seem and this is an important time to follow the heart the heart is the most important organ you have in your life the heart is the most important organ you have in your life. God is connected to your heart. The brain is only a tool. Speak the language of love and trust that love. Well, good night. George Michael.